Yo, bloody actor you guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Kenyan Gaming Setups. As usual, keep your negative comments away from the comment section because I'm here to showcase what you guys are rocking. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to like, subscribe and share them with everyone and anyone. Remember, it's not only gamers who are interested in watching these videos, but other people tend to be interested as well. Now, today I'm over at Akil's uh, home. We've met a couple of times, uh, you know, we just recently became friends. And uh, yeah, let's go check his setup out. So yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm already in his room. And uh, yeah, so take a look at the nice, lovely setup. I don't think I've ever seen as much RGB in someone's setup as this. Uh, all I can say is it's freaking amazing. So yeah, let's head on over to what he is rocking. For the PC case, he's rocking the Antec DF600 Flux. This case does have a tempered glass side panel. It's just that in this case, he had it removed. Inside the case, we have an Intel i9 9th Gen 9900K, which is an 8-core 16-thread CPU. Cooling this CPU, we have the Rosewheel 240mm RGB AIO cooler. For his RAM, he's using a 32GB kit from G-Skill. This is the Trident Z DDR4 200MHz memory. Taking a look at his GPU there, he's using the NVIDIA, or rather a stock NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti. For his storage there, he's using a WD1TB NVMe SSD paired up with a Seagate 2TB Barracuda hard drive. All of this is mounted on an MSI MPG Z390 motherboard. And powering this whole unit, we have the Apex Gaming 850 watt power supply. Heading over to his monitors there, he's using an LG Ultra Gear 27GL 83A 1440p 144Hz monitor paired up with a Samsung T35F 27-inch 75Hz monitor. Both of these monitors are mounted on an RTKL monitor desk mount. Heading over to his keyboard there, he's using a Razer Huntsman Mini. which is paired up with a Razer Basilisk V2 mouse. For his mousepad there, he's using a generic RGB mousepad. I believe you've seen quite a number of these ones. For his headphones, he's using the Bayer Dynamic DT990s, which are powered by the Sound Blaster G6 Audio Duck. For his microphone, this is a second entry for this mic in this series, but this is the HyperX Quadcast sRGB USB mic. For his ISP, he's using the Safaricom 40 Mbps package. The total price estimate as of two years ago is 350,000 Kenyan shillings, but of course, right now, if you are to build the same PC, it's going to cost you less than it would have costed you two years ago so what do you use this setup for so usually editing and grading for work and then gaming when i'm free did you assemble it or did you buy everything at once i assembled every piece and put it together okay where did you buy most of this stuff so there's a company a shipping company called cool stuff um, that I use for shipping and then I bought everything of new egg from the States. So what do you like about this setup? Mostly wallpaper engine. Um, I like the performance of the machine mostly because I can do 1440p gaming at 144 Hz. Uh, majority of the games including Call of Duty on low settings. So what are you planning to change about this setup? 
Actually, majority of the things, um, because I've always dreamt to have the Lian Li O11 dynamic case. And if I'm getting that, it means I have to change the graphics card. I'm aiming for the 4080. And I'll have to also change the processor because I don't want to bottleneck it. Um, but mostly that, um, and just increase the aesthetics and the RGB. <laughs> you still want more RGB? <laughs> okay, so how is your internet so far? Is it uh, good, bad? Uh, what, what do you think about your internet? So I'm using Safaricom, the 40 MB package. It works really well with certain games where, let's say for example when I'm playing Overwatch, it makes sense because the only server close to me is the UAE servers, um, so it makes sense. But when I'm playing Call of Duty, Safaricom are wasting a lot of gamers who want to play in the South African lobbies and the issue is they route you to a different um, proxy I think um, because majority of the gamers are, confu are confused and we're getting really high ping when we want to play certain servers because Safaricom is routing us to the nearest server, which is UAE. Oh yeah, but that seems to be an issue with Safaricom. There was a time their, their, surf, their SA connection was, I don't know, it's still finicky. Sometimes Heiko, sometimes Heiko 200. Me, mostly I see it on Discord. There was a time it used to be 60 constant, and then now nowadays sometimes it's 263, so, so yeah. Oh, and yes, Starboy is a gaming content creator, so go check his Twitch and YouTube out. He does play a lot of Overwatch 2 and Call of Duty once in a while. So yeah, support him by following his channels. So yeah, guys, we've come to the end of the episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe these videos with everyone and anyone. Remember, if you want me to come over and check your setup out, hit me up on Discord. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me up on the comment section, and I'll be sure to come over to your place. And uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say other than I should see you in the next one.